Thank you. Good morning. I know I'm the last thing between you and lunch right now, so I'm trying to be very quick. Uh, but please come by with any question afterwards. Uh, I will be talking very quickly about why, and I would like to thank Mr. Thorsten here for the work he done because he did part of my job just before talking about what is uh, YGSMR. So very quick word, uh, very quickly on this, who we are. So CAPS, we are an Austrian company, uh, family owned, more than 120 years, uh, doing, focusing on providing telecommunication and intelligent system around transportations, both for fixed transportations, roads, and railways. Uh, one key point is uh, CAPS have been acquired GSM and GSMR business of Nortel Networks in 2010, and this will explain some of the things afterwards. Uh, present around the world, we have offices in pretty much all around Europe, and we are present Middle East and North Africa with offices in Algeria, in South Africa, and in Abu Dhabi now. Uh, three core businesses, CarrierCom, which I represent today, and I will give more details afterward. TrafficCom, around solutions for highways and roads with intelligent systems for tolling specifically. And BusinessCom, which is more on the enterprise business. Uh, CarrierCom, we are really focusing, and it is our core business, on telecommunication solution for highways. We do have also uh, solutions for operators, but that's the second part of it. Key focus is for highways. Uh, so, what technology and why? What are we talking about here when you come to standardized? So, if you go back a bit of history, there was many systems. Many systems for communications, hundreds of them, many systems for signalizations. So, a lot of people decided that it cannot work anymore if we talk about interoperability. And this is, in summary, how it led to the creation of ERTMS and ETCS, and you know it, uh, as you know it. To support that ETCS, you've seen as the presentation before, we need a solid communication system that will go through a certain number of points. It has to be open, it has to allow standardizations, security more than everything, able to be future-proof and support safety communication for highways. And this is how GSMR was created. So it was created based on a standard. It was created by railways and for the railways to support first and above everything secured communication for the signaling and also secured communication for different operational use. So today it is the system, as you've seen it on the presentation before, that is behind the scene supporting not only signalizations but many operational use when it comes to railway communications. It is a bit of GSM, that, as you know it, but it is a lot of railways, specifically in terms of services, in terms of applications, in terms of security. So it is really a system that is quite different from traditional GSM because it is for railways, and it is actually one of the key and mandatory building block of ERTMS. ERTMS is actually ETCS plus GSMR. So whenever we talk about GSMR, when we talk about ERTMS, it implies GSMR, either on an entry level, on level one, where it's going to be doing mainly communications, or in a very deep level, when you talk about level two, as it is used in the project that we've seen just before, where it implies the full uh, transmission of signalization information. And here, the system is completely linked to GSMR. This is the barbarian way of showing it, uh, just about the different communication box between what is embedded in the train, what is along the track, and where GSMR is in the middle. You can see that it is right between what's happening in, along the track and what is at the RBC level. So it's a key critical component where security is the most important piece. Uh, it was born in Europe, but it became really standard. So GSMR started there, but now it's growing over the world. And now we have more than 60 countries around the world going with this technology. Uh, so you may say that, of course, every time we go with ERTMS, no choice. We have to go with GSMR. But actually, in reality, is GSMR is going actually even more than ERTMS. We have many lines that are going for that technology, even though they don't use it for ERTMS. And they use it as separated because they find value in it as a communication system for operational use, for security use, and of course for signaling use when it comes through the ERTMS. 
it is standardized. It was made by the railways, for the railways. It has to follow standards that have been created by UIC, by IRENE. So it's not about doing it the way you want. It has to go through standards to allow interoperability, to allow security, and to allow interaction on the right level with signaling and other systems. Because, oh, let's skip this one. Uh, what's your solution and what's your approach as Cash Carrier come to this? Uh, we are the market leader when it comes to GSMR. We are today number one with more than 55% of market share, providing all the big railways around the world. Uh, give you some details after that, but just for sake of time, if you want more information, just please join us on the booth. Uh, some key facts, key figures. So we're equipping today operationally more than 70,000 kilometers of tracks, uh, more than 10,000 BTSs where with the little symbol that was on the presentation of Thorsten just before, along the track, uh, more than 37 core switches, uh, dozens of thousands of terminals and embedded systems into the trains, and more than 50 countries covered as of today. Uh, why is that? Because we've been involved from day one. We are part of the inventor of that technology. Uh, we've delivered the first standard GSMR network of the world back in 2001, uh, the first ETCS level two networks of the world, to uh, both Italy and Germany. Uh, we've been part and supporting the record of high-speed lines in France at more than 574 km per hour. And we've been leading that uh, in terms of evolution, in terms of technology, simply because this is part of our core business. This is what we do for a living. Uh, we delivered the first commercial GSMR network with a full IP uh, core. Uh, in Austria, and now it's followed by two others that are live. And we've brought also this GSMR to Africa. Uh, we are, we've just opened the first GSMR network of Africa in Algeria and made the first call, end-to-end -end GSMR call ever of Africa in the continent uh, end of last year between Algiers and Bechar, uh, between, you know, covering more than 1,000 kilometers of track. Uh, this is part of reinforcing Cash carrier comes strategy when it comes to railways. This is, as I told you, our core business. Our focus is really to deliver telecommunication for railways. Uh, we are doing that by extending our railway fields. We are supporting and working with many railways around the world, including almost every European one. Uh, we are extending also the evolution of the technology. We are part of every specific technical working group. We are driving the evolutions. We've been certifying this IP introduction into the railway world when it comes to the core of GSMR. And we are leading the technical specification evolutions with UIC, with ERA, with the GSMR industry group, where we are one of the founders and a key member. Uh, deliverables being the certification of the latest technologies when it comes to GSMR usage. And we are now driving the introduction of a uh, packet core to the ETCS support, to bring more data rates, to do even more things with this network solution that not only support communications and signalization, but that can do a lot more, depending on how we make it evolve with you and for you. Uh, when you talk about technical specifications, evolutions, uh, it's not a one-day job. We've been doing this since 10 years, and we are continuing to do this. This is a continuous contribution uh, done under the supervision of the European Union, under the supervision and with the contribution of the international railway associations, uh, where we have to continuously prove the relevant integration, the relevant interoperability, the relevant security level. And this is a part of one of the key activities uh, that we are dealing and managing with all the standardization bodies, including working with the ERTMS using user group that involve the signaling suppliers. Uh, because when it comes to that, it's all about integrations. It's not about an isolated system. It's not a network for communications. It is part of a higher security solutions. We consider this not as a communication system, but as a security system. And the key part here is about integrations and guaranteeing the high level of certifications and security. So our, our approach here is to provide the whole portfolio around the solutions. It's not about just giving you the network, but all the terminals around that. The, at the end of the day, the railways, what they will see, this is what they will see. They will see their dispatchers, they will see their terminals, they will see their cab radios. So it is our duty to provide this and to guarantee the full security and integrations. 
Uh, we've been delivering this around the world, uh, dozens of thousands of units. We've been keeping the major railways, and we are proud today to have worked with almost every rolling stock supplier to guarantee to the railways that the system will work on the right way. On the same time, we are also the sole and unique supplier of GSMR in the world that have proven and working references with every signaling company. So by using CAPS GSMR solution, you have the guarantee that it will work with whoever you select for signaling, and you can see it. That's a nice video, but you can see it if you come to our room. <laughs> What's the latest market engagement? What happened for CAPS CARICOM and this market since the last year and a half? Uh, we've been uh, transferred the full GSMR network in France, and we are now the exclusive supplier of GSMR for France, both RFF and CNRI, up to 2025. We've been awarded additional GSMR uh, evolution networks in Lithuania, uh, in uh, Network Ray, in UK, in Spain. We've been selected by Poland as their first supplier for GSMR. Poland is moving to GSMR with us. We've been awarded additional uh, lines in Algeria as a general contractor for the whole telecommunication package and integration with signaling, both for ERTMS line and for conventional lines. We've been awarded also, uh, we've been called back to China. Uh, believe me, that's something to be called back to China. Uh, China is a challenging market. Uh, we've been looking at that quite cautiously, and we've been formally asked by the Minister of Railways to make sure we continue to deliver the solution we are delivering there. So we are doing it. Uh, we've been selected, this is one of the key things that happened for us, uh, by Deutsche Bahn. Uh, we've been the historical supplier of GSMR to Deutsche Bahn, where we cover more than 34,000 kilometers of track. And Deutsche Bahn, as part of the evolution of their network, decided to go with the IP-based core technologies, and we have been very proud to be selected by Deutsche Bahn to lead that evolution for them and to evolve their whole core network to the new IP R4 core technologies. We've been awarded also many contracts with the Czech Railways as a general contractor for telecommunication work, including services and maintenance, new lines in Spain also. And just last year, end of last year, Ireland decided to go to GSMR and selected Caps Carriercom their, as their GSMR supplier. So we are very proud to continue to lead the way in this. Things are happening in Middle East. Uh, that we are happy about, but we are not allowed to talk about yet. So we'll be talking about this hopefully soon. I've told you a lot of things about core, R4 core networks. So this is basically the evolution of the existing core networks or to the new technology, introducing IP and introducing a new area of flexibility and security. We've been asked to do that migrations in some of the key networks in Europe. We've delivered in Austria with OBB. It's ongoing in UK. We are doing it also for Dutch Bahn, for Czech Republics, and we are doing it also on the public area, but it's a different level of securities. And for all the new networks, they actually asked us to go straight forward to the latest technologies. This is what we have been doing in Lithuania, in Poland, in Algeria, Bulgaria, and we'll be doing in Ireland and in another country, where we are going straight from the beginning to the latest in terms of security and quality. And actually, we've been contacted by many uh, railways companies that are using the old R99 technology, which is based on TDM, and are asking us now to look and see how we can help them to move to this latest generation. So why is that? Uh, very quickly here, without going into details, because we, it brings, this R4 bring you a new level of flexibility, a new level of security, and a lot of savings. A lot of savings, both from an operational point of view, and from a cost point of view. Saving in terms of transmissions by going into an IP backbone. Saving in terms of footprints by reducing the space you need for your core. In some countries, it's a lot of importance. Uh, saving in terms of power consumptions, and also in terms of future proof. By going to these systems, you are sure, and this is what we commit to our customers, to have the right technology for the next 10 years. And even more than that, whatever happened, because we are going to IP backbone rather than all TDM approach. Why do we think we can bring you the right approach here? Because of experience. We think that experience matters when it comes to security, when it comes to railways. We are the market leader to these technologies. We are committed. GSMR is our core technology. Railways for 
telecommunication for railway, sorry, is our core business. This is what we do for a living. We are not a 100,000 people company. We are not a 10 billion euro people company. Uh, we are 4,000. We are focusing on transportations, and we want to do it the right way. We lead it in terms of high speed. We lead it in terms of ERTMS integrations, and we lead it in terms of integration with signaling and with other railway solutions. So thank you very much for your time. I hope uh, it was quick enough for you to have a decent lunch. Uh, we'll be, we are extremely honored to be uh, qualified and finalist as the best communication provider of the Ryan industry. So for tonight at the Middle East Ride Award for people who are there. We have three technical workshops to go into more details. And we have booth 220. So please visit us and we'll be more than happy to give you more details. Thank you very much. Fantastic.